Welcome to Excel Basics number seven. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in number seven here, we're on the sheet tab called Functions. In our last video, we did Functions 2 first, but now we're looking at this one. We just have a short, important trick and idea about functions in Excel. Now, what we want to do is <clears throat> add up the total of all these. And we're going to use the SUM function. Now, I'm going to click in this cell right here and use the keyboard shortcut, ALT equals, ALT equals. Now, it didn't guess right, but the dancing ants are marching around. And you notice that the range right here is um, highlighted. It's trying to be polite because it, no, it, doesn't, it doesn't always guess right. But because the dancing ants are uh, jumping around those and we want to highlight this whole column, we could take our mouse and highlight this, but we could also use the keyboard shortcut, control, shift, and then down arrow. That is a command in the middle of our function that will automatically highlight to the bottom of the current region. That's an awesome trick for when you have hundreds of rows of data. Now, look at this. It says A13 to A18. Because we're not, not going to copy this anywhere, uh, that range, later we'll talk about relative and absolute, but that range is really A13 to A18. Notice the colon. All right, I'm going to control enter, and there you go. You can see it up here. We have the sum function and then a range of values. Now I want to do a formula that you um, never want to do, but unfortunately you often see in the working world. I'm going to type an equal sign, and then I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to do plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this. There's two problems with this. The first one is it takes too long, right? To especially if you have a whole column. I'm going to control enter. And here's the second problem. Sometimes your spreadsheets need to be dynamic, mean, meaning you need to be able to insert rows and columns. If I were to insert, uh, come to this number 15 and right click, insert, it would insert a number. And if I typed a number here, 60, watch how when I hit enter, this updates, but this does not. So if I click in the cell and hit F2, the reason why is because we used a range. Some cell reference, colon, another cell reference. Escape. And if I click here and hit F2, you could see it just darn uh, doesn't know that that cell reference A15 should be in the formula. Later, um, in a couple videos, I'll show you an even more profound um, example of this exact um, problem when you do this. And of course, the solution will be always use range. So whenever you can, because it's faster um, when you're typing it and because updating later is easy, whenever you can, use a range in a function. All right, we'll see you next trick. Remember, as always, if you want to download the workbooks, go to the Excel is Fun channel and then scroll down here on the left. And sure enough, there's a link right there. And these have uh, the workbook downloads Excel Basics. You can even go uh, download my book. It's 144 pages and then print it out. And there's all the other links for the workbooks is the address right there.